We now learn about the quadratic formula as well as the discriminant for solving quadratic equations. Those are any equation looking like ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. For instance, the equation 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals to zero. By the end of this tutorial, you should know how to solve that. Now, during the first couple of minutes of this tutorial, we're going to be writing a two-step method for solving quadratic equations. This involves a couple of formula, so do keep a pen and paper handy to take a couple of notes. Don't worry, there won't be too many. Now, let's get started. To solve any quadratic equation, we can follow two steps. Step one is to calculate the quadratic's discriminant and we usually refer to the discriminant with a capital delta. The formula for the discriminant is the following. Delta equals to b squared minus 4ac. If you hadn't seen that formula already, do make a note of that now. We're going to need it. Looking at this formula, b, a, and c correspond to the x coefficient, the x squared coefficient, and the term without an x. So for the example we have here written in black, b would be 2, a would be 3, and c would be negative 5. Now once the discriminant has been calculated, we move on to step 2. And in step 2 we solve the quadratic equation, but the way in which we solve it and the solutions it may have depends on the sign of the discriminant. Consequently, we solve the quadratic equation according to the discriminant delta. And there are three possible scenarios. First of all, the discriminant delta can be positive. In other words, delta can be greater than zero. When this happens, the quadratic equation will have two solutions. And those two solutions are given by the formula x equals to negative b minus the square root of delta over 2a and x equals to negative b plus the square root of delta over 2a. The second scenario that we can encounter is if delta, the discriminant, is equal to zero. In this case, the quadratic equation will have one solution. And that solution is given by the formula x equals to negative b over 2a. Finally, the last scenario possible is if the discriminant delta is negative. In this case, there are no real solutions to the quadratic equation. And so if we find that the discriminant is negative, then we can stop there and state that the equation has no real solutions. Okay, we've now covered all the theory and seen all the formula that we need to know. Now let's move on and work through some examples to see how all of these work. Let's say we're asked to solve 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals to 0. Well, this is clearly a quadratic equation and comparing it to ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, we can see that a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 3. And it's a good habit to pick up on to always write the value of those coefficients. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and solve this using our two-step method. So remember, step 1, we calculate the discriminant, and that was delta equals to b squared minus 4ac. And we have the values of b, a, and c right here. So let's go ahead. b squared would be 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 3. So that's equal to 1 minus 4 times 2, which is 8, times negative 3. And that's equal to 1 minus 8 times negative 3, which is negative 24. And now 1 minus negative 24 turns into 1 plus 24. Finally, delta equals to 25. Now that we know the value of delta, we move on to step 2. 
And in step two, remember, we solve the equation according to the sign of the discriminant delta. Now in this case, we can see quite clearly delta is equal to 25, so we can go ahead and say that delta is positive. And this equation therefore has two solutions. And I'll move to the right hand side to write those solutions. We have x equals to negative b minus the square root of delta over 2a, and we have x equals to negative b plus the square root of delta over 2a. And now replacing b, a, and delta in each of these two equations by their respective values leads to x equals to negative 1 minus the square root of 25 over 2a, which is 2 times 2. That's equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 25, which is 5, over 4. That's equal to negative 1 minus 5, which is negative 6, over 4. And finally, x is equal to negative 3 over 2, which we could also write as a decimal and state that x equals to negative 1.5. Doing the same thing for the second solution here leads to the following. It's equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 25 over 2 times 2. That's equal to negative 1 plus 5 over 4. That's equal to negative 1 plus 5, which is 4 over 4. Finally, x is equal to 1. And we now have the two solutions to this quadratic equation. And those are x equals to negative 1.5 and x equals to 1. These are both solutions to this quadratic equation. This example just showed us how to solve a quadratic equation for which the discriminant delta was positive. Let's move on to the second example in which we'll see what happens when delta is equal to 0. Let's say we have to solve x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals to 0. Again, we can see that this is a quadratic equation. That's ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. And in this case, we can see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 8, and c is equal to 16. And to solve this equation, we're going to follow our two-step method. Remember, step 1, we need to calculate the discriminant. In other words, we need to calculate delta. And delta equals to b squared minus 4ac, where b is 8, a is 1, and c is 16. So that's 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16. That's equal to 8 squared, which is 64, minus 4 times 16. And that's equal to 64 minus 4 times 16, which is 64. Finally, we can see that delta, the discriminant, equals to zero. Now that we've calculated delta, we move on to step two. And remember, in step two, we solve the equation according to the sign of delta. And in this case, because delta, the discriminant, is equal to zero, the equation only has one solution. And the formula for that solution is x equals to negative b, over 2a. So given the values of a and b that this equation has, namely 1 and 8, the solution x equals to negative b over 2a turns into the following. x equals to negative 8 over 2 times 1. That's equal to negative 8 over 2. Finally, x is equal to negative 4. And that's the single solution to this quadratic equation. Now, when a quadratic equation only has one solution, we'll often call it a double root. Now, this example has just shown us what happens when delta equals to zero. Now, let's move on to the third and final example in which we see what happens when the discriminant delta is negative. Let's say we have to solve 2x squared plus 4x plus 7 equals to 0. 
Well, once more, we can see that this is a quadratic equation. Indeed, this is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And in this case, we have a equals to 2, b equals to 4, and c equals to 7. So using our two-step method for solving this, we have step 1, in which we calculate the discriminant delta. Remember, delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now, using the coefficients we have, which were a equals 2, b equals 4, and c equals to 7, this turns into 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 7. That's equal to 16 minus 4 times 2, which is 8, so that's 8 times 7, and that's equal to 16 minus 56. Finally, delta, the discriminant, is equal to 16 minus 56, which is negative 40. Now that we've calculated the discriminant, delta, we move on to step 2. And in step 2, we solve this equation according to the sign of delta. And here we can see quite clearly that delta is negative. And since delta is negative, this quadratic equation has no real solution, and that's what we write as an answer. And there we have it. Now, as we move on into higher level mathematics later on in our studies, we'll see that when delta is negative, the quadratic equation actually has something called complex solutions. But for now, though, all we need to know is that this quadratic has no real solutions, and that's the answer we should be stating. And that's it for this tutorial. There we go everyone, I really hope that helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video, or even drop us a comment, and please subscribe to our channel, that really does help us. I'll see you soon.